Hi guys, it's Chris. I couldn't tell if my phone was recording or not because I am recording off of my phone today. I'm literally just between uh, work and some clients and calls today. So I wanted to shoot this for you because I have been literally on back-to-back -back calls for weeks filling coaching programs and private coaching. And I wanted to talk to you guys today about, especially women, because I've been talking with a lot of women. And it's awesome to see you guys. It's awesome to feel you and hear you and listen to what your vision and your mission is. And that's what really lights me up, is getting to help others just step authentically into their career, their purpose, and taking their life from where they are right now, if it's confusion or struggle or uncertainty, and just getting back on that path of knowing, that path of flow and abundance and setting a business up strong and, and all of that. That's really what I love talking to you guys about. So over these last few weeks, um, and getting blessed enough to talk to you all, I've seen a common theme. So you all will tell me everything that you want to create. You know, you're not shy. You all love to, you all want more freedom internally and externally, financially in time. You all want more freedom and I get it because that's my number one value. But really, as soon as I ask you what's stopping you from achieving everything you want in your life, excuses start shooting out right away. And they're all linked to self-worth. So a lot of people say, oh, well, I can't afford a coach or um, it's, I don't think I need the help. I actually know what I need to do. And I get this because I just played this whole role out in my victim mentality with my sister the other day over Facebook chat. Um, she's living in Alberta, but moving home. And so we chat over Facebook every day. And I was playing this victim role with her, telling her that maybe I don't need, maybe I don't need this help from this coach. I got this. I know what I need to do. All I need to do is do it. And the truth is coaches still need coaches. And the reason that I wasn't taking my business to that next level was because I was so closed. I, and maybe my self-worth was not open enough to take me there. Maybe I was so full of ego that I was thinking, well, how's that coach going to know more than I know? So if you're, you know, an aspiring coach right now, if you want to be a life coach, if you want to be a personal trainer, if you want to get in the health niche, if you want to start a blog, but you have this passion within you to do more, but you still stop yourself, you're still the block that is holding you back from all your dreams, then I invite you today just to sit with yourself and find out where you can drop this ego, where you can actually allow yourself to get the help that you need, or be okay with just sending an email to someone you admire asking, hey, how did you get from here to here? You know, get the ball rolling. Not being so caught up that you know it all, that you can actually be vulnerable enough, which is the key to building a successful business is being vulnerable with your own stories, your own place in your life right now, where you want to go in your vision, being open with that with people, being open to your story with social media, on your blog, with your coach, uh, with your clients, because that creates tremendous trust within yourself and other people for them to come back and want to work with you. So I invite you to get clear. If you're not where you want to be yet in your life, if you're still holding yourself back, if you still feel like you're bumping up against resistance, and I just went through this process last week, so I totally get it. You know, we all still go through it, but I invite you to get clear. Uh, get clear. Get, a, get your journal. I have my journal here. I also have my tissue. Um, I have my journal here that I write down when I talk to everyone on the phone, what we talked about, and, you know, how I can help them, and then um, I get back into the, the email with them. So I got clear on what it is that I want. So spend time, get clear on what you want, what you want to create, what you want to feel, um, where you want to go, what you want to attract and manifest in your life, and then get clear on what feeling that has within you. What's coming up? Does it feel icky? Does it feel so far out of your reach that you actually don't know how you're going to get it? Does it feel a little 
unnatural to dream that big? Does it feel maybe a little uh, fearful that you're going to be stepping into something so foreign and unknown, even though it was placed within you for a reason? Because all of our desires are placed within us for a reason. So get clear on that. What do you want? What does it feel like? What are these negative limiting beliefs that are coming up around it? And then I want you to sit with the feeling that once you achieve these things, that it's going to allow you to feel. So when you want, you know, to be able to travel for six months out of the year and do work from the beach, that's going to make you feel like awesome and peaceful and in flow and probably super abundant and probably the feeling of not having to wake up to an alarm clock. Like that right there is a feeling like no other. So really get centered in those feelings and start to work with that energy and manifesting it because the more you sit understanding that this is coming to you, that you can really co-create your own life, that's when the shift happens and that's when things come in. So if you need help with this, if you need someone to be your accountability partner or guide you more in this through coaching, reach out to me. You know, ask, ask the questions that you feel will help you get free, um, that will help you get on your journey properly. I would gladly answer. Just send me an email and I would love to connect with you. And I hope this video helped you. So until next time, see you soon.